there's been a lot of growth and a lot of uh, development in, in the work that you're doing, a lot of testimony, a lot of p- people that have been helped uh, with, with what you're doing. So I, we obviously want to dive into that. But before we get there, there's somebody listening right now that's like, yeah, I, I love porn. I don't see it as a problem. Can we just catch them up? I mean, without saying, hey, you got to go back and listen to the first episode. Can you give them like a couple of minutes of, you know, why this is an actual kind of a problem, an issue, R- regardless if you think you're hurting yourself or anyone else? I mean, really, the whole last episode for an hour, we were just talking about that. So right. that can be. this is part two. Right. We're talking about, you know, another hour we're going to talk about how, what happens when you relapse, what happens when you screw up. How do you once you know this is a problem, where do we go from there? So go back and listen to that episode, but real quick, just like in a minute or so, yeah. like why is it a problem if they don't want to go listen to the whole episode? And- yeah, and it's and I, I just want to make sure, you know, nothing I'm going to share here today is, is coming from a place of judgment. You know, I'm not here slamming morality, you know, down the throat of anybody. I'm not even going to address it from a good or bad standpoint, because I think that's one of the biggest pushbacks that I get all the time when I kind of go into a new place or, you know, I'm speaking in front of an audience or even a lot on, on the videos. Like a lot of the comments or pushback that I'll get is like, oh, there's nothing wrong with porn or porn is not bad. And I'm not here to tell you if it's good or bad. Like for, for you, it's not, my, it's not something that I worry about. It's not a conversation I'm even interested in having. What I want to do is I want to come from an education standpoint so people can understand what's happening to the brain, which obviously Mike addressed, you know, we talked about for about an hour on the last sure. podcast. I think to maybe summarize that in a way is probably the easiest way is to look at it through the lens of neuroscience and understanding a little bit of what dopamine is. So neuroscientists or science in general, they look at dopamine, which is a neuro modulator or neurotransmitter. It's basically a chemical and we have all these different chemicals. You know, we have dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, like they all kind of serve different parts in just our everyday life. You know, they give us good feelings. They give us feelings of joy. They give us feelings of happiness. They give us feelings of motivation. Dopamine is a currency of motivation. So the way that that scientists will look at it is the amount of dopamine that is associated with a particular behavior or experience will dictate the level of addiction that that experience or chemical is. And pornography in the neuroscience world is what's known as a super normal stimulus. It lights the whole brain up. Beyond and, anything yeah. that you're going to get in the natural world. Yeah. Beyond anything. Super, super normal. So what ends up happening at the, at the most simplest terms is first, second exposure to internet streaming pornography. Once again, I want to preface it under that context. I'm not talking about Playboys. I'm not talking about VHS, DVDs. I'm talking about what we have access to, this infinite amount of supply of internet streaming por- pornography, hardcore material is recognized as super normal stimulus. So first, second exposure, you've established a new baseline of dopamine for your brain. So if you had this new baseline that was established through a supernormal stimulus, now once you return back to the normal world, you'll never be able to re- replicate that naturally. So what are you going to do? You're going to need to go and seek out more pornography. And I mean, that is, that is addiction 101, when you need more of something to create the same stimulus response. Mm-hmm. Addiction 101. J- just, like a, just like a drug, right? 100%. Yeah. 